All right, so what I'm going to do now is go to GoZ, see if this works. All right, so let's see what's going on. Something about four more faces. So what I'm going to do here is go in here to clean up and use select matching faces, faces with more sides, and hit apply. And sure enough, there's one in the very bottom. And that's a very easy fix, too, it looks like. So we're going to take this just like that. and try it again. A lot of times I'll switch over to a Z-sphere. There we go. That works out really well. Unclick light box. Click and drag him out. Now the whole reason for designing this head is to become like other heads later on. So he's going to be a blank shell. So my job is just to basically get him into a blank shell format. Um, so he can become other creatures later on down the road. And I'll share with you, you know, how, how I might have that occur. So it's not that he has the correct amount of edge loops or anything like that. He just, especially around the ears, you see that he doesn't have any uh, edge loops in those areas whatsoever. Interesting. There we go. Just hitting smooth on and basically smoothing all these out. It's almost easier to start uh, from a flat mesh than it is to try to mash it all together. I'm already see seeing that I need one in the neck here. So I'm going to be inputting one here in a second. Now I'm just kind of placing these where I think everything should start out at for a blank character. I want to make it very easy to be able to grab all this stuff and start moving it around. I don't want any of it uh, folded on top of each other or anything. And I'm just going to automatically assume that most of my characters will have noses. So it really helps if you just kind of zoom out and just fix this stuff proportionally. Uh, oftentimes, you'll get really hung up on the fact that you know, you're know you also zoomed in. Uh, you can't get the right structure down. And you never will because you're just so zoomed in. You're concentrating on all the detail and none of the form. I can already see this character is going to be
be very easy to work with. I'm moving around things, and everything seems to be moving very nicely. I think one of my biggest complaints will be the fact that the eyes um, might not have enough edge loops in the area. So I'm going to shrink these up. Push them back just a little bit. And then I'm going to insert some edge loops, um, especially for the neck. The neck doesn't have any. And th this is what I'm doing. I'm just kind of giving a feel of, uh, am I going to be able to complete a lot of things with this mesh if I choose to use it? Okay, so uh, once I get this done, I'm going to hit Go Z again, export it back to Maya, where it's going to be looking like this. If I hit one on the keyboard, it'll go back to normal. And that's where I could say insert an edge loop here. And I'm going to go in here and transform this component. Transforming component allows me to basically uh, make them grow in the area without uh, going in and scaling them individually. So here I'm going to add an extra edge loop in this area. Just like that. Good, good. And I might need another one in here. So the, the rule of the game here is to keep everything as uniform as possible because that way when you do divide back in ZBrush, uh, you'll get the same amount of detail everywhere. So I'm just bouncing this thing back and forth, uh, coming up with as many, with all the edge loops and seeing if this works. And I'll take my standard brush and just subtract this mouth area a little bit. And go back to the move tool. Oh yes, that's that's amazing. So I can come up with all kinds of cool different shapes with this good okay okay he's almost done as far as being a blank Taking it smoothing that base off and then kind of proportionally fitting him.
I guess a true test to this is, you know, can you get them to smile? Can you push this up and down? Uh, can you do some stuff with the eyes? And what moves with what? That That's a sign of good topology. If you can get it to move around, and the right things move around. The cheekbones, you're moving the cheekbones. It's moving this stuff in this area. If I'm moving the eyebrows, a lot of that and the mouth. Everything seems to be moving correctly. Now if I wanted to I could put some topology in for the ears. Uh, that would be just a single edge loop. So I could move this all out like this. And I would want the ear to go in between uh, the bottom of the nose and the top of the brow line, like right here. So it'd be these faces. In the next video, I'll push around some more vertices.